I have a message for one man. John Jones, get your shit together. I'm waiting for you. Oh boy. I said whoever wins between Daniel Cormier or Anthony Rumble Johnson, please say something like, John Jones, you're dead. BJ Penn rules, by the way, for those that understand that. Anyway, Anthony Rumble Johnson is one of the most dangerous strikers in the entire planet. Why? Uh, Andre Arlovsky is one of the best strikers in the heavyweight division. Anthony Rumble Johnson fights at 205 pounds. He fought Andre Arlovsky, if you guys have seen this fight. Demolished Andre Arlovsky. Anthony Johnson did. Anyway, the very beginning of this fight, one of the first punches thrown by Anthony Johnson connected, he might have been the first one, connected on DC. <laughs> DC fucking dropped, dude. He dropped like a sack of potato baby big time. But he didn't get KO'd. He managed to actually pretty much the whole other rest of the round try to take Anthony Johnson down, put him up against the cage, just put his body weight on him. Anthony Johnson was tired as hell after the first round. Second round. Every single opportunity Anthony got to strike with DC, he just showed how insanely good he is at striking. He is tremendously dangerous. Definitely tremendously dangerous. He definitely was hurting DC, but DC is a... He has a chin. He has a head of steel, a head of stone. He was taking those kicks, knees, punches... And this is Anthony Johnson kicking you, dude. It's not a regular MMA fighter. This guy kills people with his kicks. DC was taking them. Now, like I said, he is an elite striker. One of his biggest downfalls. Actually, a many. He has many. One of them is his takedown defense. Non-existent. In this fight. Okay, in this fight. Also, DC is, we all know, a tremendously, tremendously good wrestler. So, if he, if he wants to take you down, he most likely will take you down. So, other than that, Jiu-Jitsu. Anthony's Jiu-Jitsu horrendous. Now, I want to say this. <laughs> um, he, DC had almost full mount, all right? He was almost full mount. He was landing elbows on DC. So the question is, should he have just gone to full mount like Chris Weidman did against Vitor and just went berserk on him? I don't know, but he did bust up Anthony big time, dude. Really big time. It was crazy. And that was the end of round two. Busted up as bad as DC got got dropped in the first round. He did worse to Anthony in round two. Just demolished him in every single way, except for striking. Uh, well, as well when they were in the ground, he was fucking whooping him and just bloodied him up. Took literally took his life, part of his life, out of Anthony. Anthony was in the, in the stool, and his coaches were like, You want this? Do you want this? That's not a good thing to be saying. That means you're, you're in desperation mode. Anthony just looked like he was almost done. Start of round three, Anthony dangerous as all hell still, even though he was tired as hell. And, long story short, same old thing. DC took him down. Pounded, pounded, got his back. Got the rear naked choke. His, I think his coach was like, hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. Don't tap. But that was it. Boom. Tapped. Winner, round three. DC. Rear naked choke. The new light heavyweight champion of the world. And I said this. I hope somebody does this. And they did their own version. And I loved it. 
John Bones has not said anything yet. His Twitter, the last thing he has tweeted was, Got a lot of soul searching to do. Sorry, everyone. I've let you down. Like I started off <laughs> with this video saying, Cormier said, Dude, this is awesome. Just brilliant. Awesome. I love it. BJ Penn. Sean Shirk, you're dead. And just w went out of the octagon. Just ran out of there. Joe Rogan. Oh, this is a good win. Blah, blah, blah. You know, his usual blah, blah, blah. DC was holding up the, the one sign. Like, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. And he, he just grabbed the mic and said, I have a message for one man. John Jones. Get your... <laughs> John Jones, get your shit together. I'm waiting for you. And just left. Yes. And just left. Yes. Holy sh... Is this fucking rematch going to be a... Is, is it going to make a lot of money? Yes. Are people going to go ape shit for it? Yes. DC is the champion. John Jones, stripped of the belt, never lost it in the octagon. When he does get his shit together, which who knows when the hell that's going to be. And by shit, I mean legal troubles. That takes a long ass time. But he is back in the gym. All right. He is back in the gym. Training. Oh, I loved it. You know, Ariel Hawani said, what are you going to say after the, if, if you win, are you going to say something? Are you going to say something? You know, kind of stirring the pot. Are you going to say something? Because I mean, the thing is, you know, he, you got he have history with him. Are you gonna say something? And DC was hush. Now we know what he was gonna say, and he said it. Now and then Ariel's like, I hope I hope you say something because that's gonna that's gonna get John Jones real fired up and it's gonna stir the pot and it's gonna be uh, this is what he in his mind you know that's what he's thinking. It's gonna be a even bigger event. And yeah, it's true. What? <laughs> When he does get his shit together. Holy shit. That. Is John Jones going to have a belt or no? He technically no because he got stripped. So DC is going to be walking around with the belt. John Jones is going to be on the B side. If he ever does get his shit together. And they do the automatic rematch. Which they should. That fucking fight's going to be crazy. And if you guys remember that fight. Oh, as a matter of fact, Anthony Johnson took, very, very briefly, took down DC one time. Very briefly, though. John Jones did it as well. But, <laughs> but this is uh, MMA, and uh, as far as Anthony Johnson, he's got to improve a lot in his takedown defense and his jiu-jitsu, big time. Now, Jones, who the fuck knows when he's going to come back? Is he is DC gonna fight somebody else? I don't effing know, dude. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I just gotta say I loved that post fight interview that he did. DC now the new champion. Is he undisputed champion? There's a big cloud over that. He's done an interview saying, "Hey, listen, the history books are gonna show me as the next champion." But there is still one man out there who beat him actually. We got to get this rematch done. Thank you for watching.